Recording in progress. Hi, good afternoon, everybody. This webinar is to discuss eight ways to promote your YouTube channel. So the assumption is that you already have a YouTube channel and that you post regularly and that you want to get more subscribers. So this is not a webinar that informs on how to set up a YouTube page or how to create a video. So I can certainly help you with that during another time or we can set up a one-to-one, -one. but for the next 20 minutes, I want to focus on simply promoting your channel. And uh, let me introduce myself to some of you who may not be familiar with who I am or my background. So, so I'm Pamela Vines. I'm the chief writer and director of Vines Film and Media. We are a multimedia film production company that specializes in creating compelling videos and short films for business owners who are ready to engage their target markets with story, culture, and relevance. And uh, just to note that throughout 2022, we're gonna be conducting these webinars every month on the second Tuesday at 2 p.m. So tell your friends and definitely come back next month. So, but here is a snapshot. This is, this is me. I, I'm a Christian, I'm a retired army officer, animal lover, a published fiction author, and I'm most excited to announce right now that uh, a documentary project that I produced and directed last year uh, titled Isolated Hope, Navigating the New Normal. Uh, it's a, a look at how DC residents and businesses dealt with COVID and uh, their hopes for the future. So that film is now an official selection at the uh, Indianapolis Black Documentary Film Festival. So that's gonna take place at the end of the month. So I'm, I'm going to that. And if you follow me on all of my social media, you'll be able to watch me live. So, but, um, just a, this, this is my company. Uh, I am um, the owner of Vines Film and Media. We've been in business since 2014 and the parent company is Truth Public Relations LLC. So, but we are doing business as Vines Film and Media. And so if you want to see more of our work and learn, learn more about the company, connect more on our social media pages, definitely visit our website, vinesfilm.com. So, our tagline is where vision meets value. We have six media service offerings and we are proud of ourselves on being a, a mobile film production company. So we actually go to our clients rather than operating out of a brick and mortar building. And uh, we are uh, definitely a, a woman owned, um, veteran owned and uh, minority owned business. Okay, so let's dive in. All right, so first of all, uh, I just want to say that YouTube is, has so many opportunities. It's, it's just a plethora of, of money opportunities. And this, this really excites me. So uh, when, I, when I take a look at this, um, just, just a, a note that, uh, this, I just have a screenshot of this woman and her page. Now, I saw an article lately that she makes upwards of 11,000 plus a month, but I think that's way more because these, at, at, the, uh, at the, late, the rate she's in, almost 2 million subscribers, to my estimation, she's making about 40,000 a month. But, you know, for all of the, all of the rest of us, um, just, just thinking, you need at least 1,000 subscribers to start monetizing your page. So, so for us to start making money, you must have at least 1,000 subscribers and have 4,000 hours of watched video over the past year. And uh, so that means that people are watching the entire thing and, and just not clicking on it and turning it off. They're watching through straight through and building up that time for you. So once you do reach that level, then you can apply for the YouTube uh, partner program, and then you can start monetizing. And that means that uh, you can start making money through ads and channel memberships and sponsorships and all that. So 
and on, on the other tidbit down here is that for every 1,000 ad views, advertisers pay. It takes 45% of that revenue, which means you get 55%. And that's how everybody is making all this money. So, you know, I, I have begun to analyze a lot of the videos from uh, these these influencers, these lifestyle influencers who are making so much money. And, and um, I just have some cheeky impressions about that. So, well, anyway, before we get there, uh, it's, it's the next slide. So I want to uh, know that the first one, the first way for you to promote your channel is to actually start on YouTube. So YouTube, um, it, it, it prioritizes the frequency and consistency. So as long as you post, um, no matter how often you decide to post, um, more, the more the better, but as long as you're consistent. So over this past uh, period, over this past year, I did note that uh, I have been posting these videos. I've been conducting the webinars and posting these videos at least once a month. And just purely once a month and not really, uh, you know, I'm um, disclosing all of this, uh, not really posting a lot of other material on my YouTube channel. Only these videos once a month, I've already increased one by 100 subscribers. So, and, and that is absolute bare minimum. So, you know, it just goes to show you if uh, you are consistent and you know, posting pretty often, at least once a week, your numbers are going to it definitely increase. And so, um, like I was saying, the videos are ranked by performance, um, personalization. Uh, they want to know uh, when people watch uh, the videos that, that helps improve everything. And um, because of YouTube's algorithm, and YouTube's algorithm is quite simple. All it is that YouTube wants its viewers to stay on their platform. So the more you watch, the more people watch, the more uh, uh, it increases. And, and so they don't want, so when you are posting your, your material, your content, your videos on YouTube, uh, one of the things is that you want to target your, have your video, target was the wrong word. You want to um, position and uh, put the content in your video so that you want people to stay on the YouTube platform. So that is when you do your, um, sub, uh, at the end of the video, when you summarize it, tell people, yes, uh, watch my next video or link to this video above because they reward that kind of behavior. So you want to keep them on the platform because be all end all YouTube's um, benefit is whittled down to your benefit. So their algorithm becomes your benefit to stay on the YouTube platform. So yes, you know, we as business owners, we want ultimately we're promoting to send people to our own websites, but that's that's another tip for down the line. But for the foremost is to use YouTube's efforts. Um, start promoting on YouTube. And once you do upload a video and you're mindful of that in your content of the video, you have said to link to this video above or watch my other videos about this same topic, then you know, that, that will help a lot. And the other thing is um, your title when you are naming your video. When mostly when people go to uh, search for video, they're searching for how to, um, how to train a cat to use the commode. You know, so, you know, things like that. So, you know, have your title be clear in that, it's going to be, it's going to match the way people are searching for content. So you want it to be, you know, quick and, and quippy and um, creative, but yet it has to be so clear and understandable that people are still going to uh, be captivated 
and want to dive in and watch your video. Also include those tags. So if your video is about, um, if your video is about um, um, lawn, lawn care, you know, um, use the lawn care tags, grass, um, gardening, flowers, fertilizer. So use all of those helpful tags that support your industry that go along with it. And then of course the thumbnail is important as well. The thumbnail, you know, early on, I didn't do this. I had no idea what a thumbnail was, but uh, the, and I'm showing my age, but a thumbnail is the, the picture, the image, the cover, the cover art for your video. And you, you definitely should create that separately. I create mine on another platform. The platform I'm actually on with this presentation is Canva, C-A-N-V-A, canva.com, if none of you are, are familiar with that. But uh, create your thumbnail uh, in a, a graphic art platform. There are many of them out, out there. Canva is not the only one. That's just the one I'm familiar with most. And, and create a really nice thumb, thumbnail that includes your title and what the video is about. And then in the description box of when, you're, when, when you post the video, put as much content there as possible. Uh, a lot of people uh, actually put the text of their video in the description box because as people are searching, uh, they find those keywords, those keywords pop up and it, it helps make your video more discoverable. And then the final bullet here is, you know, at the end of the video, as you're creating a video, be mindful to include the phrase. And a lot of, and this just depends on your personality, you know, uh, depending on what the, your genre is, but you want to ask people these, to do these four things at a minimum, to like, um, like your video, so they get, you know, the video gets raised in the, in the uh, algorithm, um, in the stats. Uh, click the bell, because if, if people highlight that little bell, that means that they get notified every time you create a video and, and you upload one. And of course you want them to subscribe to your channel and you want them to comment. So commenting is so, so key because uh, if people aren't commenting on, commenting on your, your video, you know, that, that really states that you're not really telling them anything that informative or that um, controversial because people love, love to be, actually people like to be contrary and, and they like to comment. So you, you have to tell people what to do. So that's why people, those things are there. You can just say at the end of your video, please like, subscribe. Um, if you have any questions, comment below. Um, click the bell to be made aware. So, you know, all those kinds of things and you can tailor it to your own personality. But uh, those, those are the kinds of things. And so, but what I was saying earlier is when I was analyzing a lot of these uh, uh, young people that have millions, millions of subscribers and are making hundreds of thousands of dollars uh, a year, if not a month, you know, these, these are my, my cheeky impressions about why, you know, they're so popular. So first of all, you know, you have to be likable and, and relatable to your audience with, if you want people to continue to watch your videos. And so, you know, how is that, you know, how, how can you be likable? You know, that's, you know, your personality is who you are and that's okay. So, you know, um, you, you know, everybody may not be likable, but you may be relatable. So, you know, strive to, to be one of the two, hopefully both, because, but those are the kinds of things that, uh, that is the quality that makes these, um, that I have found that make these videos stand out a lot. And then uh, a lot of things, a lot of times uh, I perceive, because I'm, I'm probably more of a serious nature, but a lot of these videos that are so popular, they're kind of like silly to me, but, um, what do I know? Because they're making hundreds of thousands of dollars and I'm not even monetized. So, but uh, it, the, the goal is, you know, show your personality. So if you are on the silly side, you know, that's going to be a plus for you. If you are carefree, um, great, but 
the underscoring part of it is that you should be authentic in what your content is, the content you, that you are promoting. So, and then you try to be a little bit funny, you know, because humor brings in everybody, it disarms people, and the people love it and it keeps them coming back. And then the other thing, you know, this right here, hair and makeup, this is what stops me from making more videos. I, I have, have to be transparent because I, I see all the young women out there with, you know, their, their perfect makeup and their eyelashes and, and um, their perfect clothing. And, you know, that's, you know, I don't, I don't do that every day, but perhaps I, perhaps I should make more videos because, you know, look at the disparity. <laughs> so, so hair and makeup is uh, what I've noticed that uh, may be a factor. You want to look your best. Otherwise, you, you know, it, it just helps if you look best, the best you can when you do your videos. But, you know, on the other hand, there, you know, because there, you know, I have some contrary opposition right there. Some people say, well, I don't worry about makeup because I'm just who I am. And if that's part of your, authentic or your authenticity and your voice and your content, and that works for you, you know, you, you have at it. But uh, I'm going to have to work on that. I'm going to have to work on getting those eyelashes on and when I do my videos, because, you know, I do want to look my best. And then the other thing I've noticed that a lot of them have uh, relationships, like, uh, so they are the star of the video, but they also have their supporting cast. They have their, their relationship, you know. Well, Matt, you know, the, the young woman uh, that I watched earlier, um, she has her boyfriend, Matt, and Matt takes her everywhere. She calls him her sugar daddy, and uh, he buys her everything. So she hardly has to use any of her $44,000 that she makes every month. But, uh, you know, it's always fun to throw in a relationship. And you don't have to do any of these, but uh, these are just things that I noticed. And sometimes, the last one there, I put that in brackets and I kind of um, grade it out because sometimes the content, and this goes back to the my bullet number two there, is just so irre irrelevant to me. But, it, you know, where is the content? It's just that the people doing the videos are so likable and you just want to see what they're doing. You just want to see what they're up to. So they may not have anything that's going to uh, teach you anything or inform you but uh, it's entertainment and, and, and that's, it's escapism. We like to see what these people are doing with all of their tens of thousands of dollars that they can just whisk away. So anyway, but that's one of the things. So the, that, and then still continuing um, with YouTube, they have various tools. I think this is number two of the eight ways. Um, YouTube has a lot of tools that uh, enable us to promote video and, uh, you know, I am not adept at any of these. I do pres prescribe to TubeBuddy. Um, I do know what that is. Uh, that is a paid tool, but I'm, I'm, I'm just making you aware of these tools. If you want to uh, explore them on your own, um, but TubeBuddy is good. It, it, I, I know that that helps you keep track of your analytics. So uh, that may be helpful for you to take a look at. All right, and so uh, number three, uh, this is, uh, these are three of the eight ways to promote your YouTube channel. Tweet that you have posted a video because Twitter is, is amazing. Twitter is, I didn't write any uh, special words about that. Okay, my notes are gone, but uh, you can definitely tweet because Twitter is a powerful platform and you have all of these hundreds of millions of active users on Twitter every day. The world leaders are on Twitter. Uh, um, the, if you are in a business that you are wanting um, to inform educated people, people more affluent, you, you are, you're in a business where you want people to buy your products. You want people to use your services. You know, 77% of the people on Twitter make more than 77 grand a year. So, you know, this, this is a, a platform to use to promote that, hey, I just posted a video, go to this link and send them to your YouTube channel to have them take a look at it. And uh, then um, people go to Twitter oftentimes, and, and most of the people go to Twitter for news. So if you are informing, you have a post 
that's especially informative. Uh, you're announcing something. Uh, don't forget about Twitter, post that video, uh, post a link to your video on Twitter. And uh, this is number four, email the video. Put it in your email marketing. There are tens of email marketing platforms there. And uh, a lot of these are free. Uh, they do have their paid components. I don't know if I pay for MailChimp and don't use it, but uh, I don't know if it's free anymore. But I know HubSpot and Sender and Send in Blue are free. They may have uh, paid components to them, but when you send out your email marketing, embed that video from YouTube. YouTube can let you embed a link into the, your platform and send that out and announce it. You want to do that, absolutely. Um, Another way, don't forget to post it on Facebook. You know, depending on your audience, what product and service you are, uh, 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 Facebook is like the, you know, they're still the, the, the bear in, in the world. So they are the, the largest social media platform. So, you know, definitely don't neglect that. But, you know, uh, if you're having, if you want to appeal, if your product and service appeals to an older demographic, Facebook is the way to go. Uh, also, go to specific Facebook groups that would appreciate the type of video and the content in the video you just posted. So some of them in the Facebook groups, uh, they have their parameters like, oh, no soliciting. But if um, you just read the fine print for the people who set up the group, and if the group is, uh, will allow you to provide helpful information, send that out. Especially if you're not, you're not uh, trying to solicit you're informing, you um, tell that Facebook group about your YouTube channel um, video that you just posted. And Pinterest, you know, and, and I have to remind myself about this all the time. I have an account, I don't use it enough. I don't use it at all, actually. But I am going to start to use it to post my video on there because you can take your thumbnail that you created on one of those uh, graphic art platforms like Canva and post that thumbnail onto Pinterest and, and have people click there and send them straight to your YouTube page because it's the 14th largest social media platform in the world, but that's nothing to sneeze at. The world is a big place. So, and it gets 431 million monthly subscribed uh, users. So, and a lot of them are women. So if you were product or service, appeals to women, Pinterest is the place to be. And a lot of people don't use the video aspect of Pinterest. Who knew that they also, just like uh, Instagram, have the vertical videos that you can um, uh, upload to Pinterest. And one billion watched videos a day. Billion with a B, amazing. Okay, so, uh, the other thing is uh, post your video content to message boards. Mess, mess, you know, that's people are primed, but primed to content, um, to comment. You know, they're on the message boards because they want to talk, they want to discuss, they want to debate. So put your link to your YouTube video on these types of message boards. You know, you know, don't forget about them. Yeah, I, I, I am one myself that I don't think about Quora. Maybe when I'm Googling, you know, it, it may come up, but just to be intentional about putting this, putting your YouTube link everywhere. And I think this is number seven and uh, this is number eight. This is the golden, golden uh, place to put your YouTube, your video, put it on your, website's front page. And that is because, not because I create video and want you to have a, a video on your, front, your page. That's not the reason. The reason I want you to put your YouTube video, embed it to your website's front page is because you own that real estate. So anything can happen to any of the other um, Pinterest or, or Facebook, anything can happen to those. But because you own this and you created, you spent a lot of time into, spent time into putting the effort 
to create that, that wonderful content in your video, put it on your webpage. And then, you know, if you um, do regular videos, you can change out your video on the webpage, and then that sends your website into, um, it increases the discoverability of your website because you are making updates to it. So that's just another way to um, include that. So those are the, the eight ways. And do you have any questions? I am going to, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna stop the share. I'm just gonna go on and let you know about this special offer. So from now through the 25th of July, which is, um, I don't know, eight days away, if you book a service with Vines Film and Media and you mention the code YouTube Channel 2022, and you can give that code to anybody. You can give that code to your, your cousin in, in Philadelphia and, and they will get 20% off of any services that we provide. Amazing. Here's our vision and mission. Actually, you can see this when you go to our website to learn more about Vines Film and Media. And this is my big ask. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I don't, uh, I believe Connie is a, as a subscriber, but I don't know if the, the rest of you are, but definitely subscribe because I am so motivated to create more content and, 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 and be like, uh, the young woman making making all those tens of thousands of dollars a month in passive income. Actually, it's not that passive because she does work to put the video together. But let me tell you, um, to have a you know, to follow someone and have me follow a camera, follow me around, you know, <laughs> I'm not putting a lot of effort into that content. But uh, for for all of us who are doing business content, consider doing more YouTube videos and get to that 1000 subscriber mark so you can monetize and have that passive income coming in. So we normally, we finished up, I wanted to keep this, this under 30 minutes. So normally I finish up about uh, in 20 minutes and leave the last 10 minutes for questions, but. I would love to entertain any of the questions you have about your YouTube. So, so all of you have YouTube channels, correct? I actually had a question. Um, so I'm trying to get on your YouTube so I can go ahead and subscribe. Um, is it Pamela Vines or is it Vines Film? Oh, it's Pamela Vines. Okay. I just want to make sure I searched the right thing. So the, um, the header art says Vines Film and Media. And that's one of the things um, you know, what YouTube does recommend is that you don't uh, do different types of content. So don't confuse your subscribers. So, you know, with, within my channel, I do have a playlist for natural hair because that's an interest of mine. Um, I do talk about uh, public relations. And so I, I really have to clean all that out and either start another channel, which I don't want to do because I, it's, um, it's challenging enough to manage one channel for me. So I am going to just strictly do filmmaking and uh, have um, and, and def re start recording my journey a lot more. Because the, you know my my niche is um, middle aged woman starting off as a, a filmmaker. So how many of us out there are like me? So well, I'll find them. They will be in my my crew. Yes. Okay, I have a question. Now this is probably um, maybe offensive, but. Um, um, have you heard you can buy you, YouTube subscribers? Have you heard that? 
they have it on on um, Fiverr. They they will get you five hundred subscribers for like twenty bucks. What do you think about that? Well, I um I am all on team authentic and natural, so I'd rather uh, develop the relationships with. The, the folks and you know establish a real bond so they get to know me uh, and I, I really don't know how those paid subscribers would affect your your monetization well if I they could just get you up to a thousand subscribers that might yeah. be worth it right but YouTube is watching everything from the moment you upload a video their analytics start you start pumping so uh you know, they they and then they may realize how how many of those subscribers are clicking onto your video so if you haven't taken the time and done it in an authentic way to develop that audience because those those people aren't going to click that bell so if i've taken the time and i have that um over over months and months developed women and men who want to see a, a 50 plus woman uh, create films, you know, if I haven't taken that time to establish that, you know, they won't click on that video right away. And, and so that's not gonna help me in the long run because if they don't click right away, that decreases, I don't, I don't rise as much in the, the algorithm. Okay, I was just curious. So I, I'd say, uh, you know, save save the money. Um, I say, well, I guess it couldn't hurt if you want, you know, have that that if you want to try. But uh, I would, my recommendation is just to do it authentically, and do the consistent, the consistent um, posting. You know, this was great. Thank you. Well, my pleasure. I, you know, uh, if you have any questions, you you know where I am on LinkedIn. Instagram. I look forward to seeing you on on YouTube. Uh, so reach out to me at any time and I'm, I'm happy to answer any of your questions. Where vision needs value. Find